Okay, so now we want to get to some breaking news as a bill that would reopen schools is now in the hands of Governor Roy Cooper. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland live at the General Assembly with more on how this will impact families. Michael. And for some kids, this is going to mean they'll be able to go back to school in person for the first time since the pandemic started. For other kids, it means they'll be able to go in person more often than they can now. The House took a final vote on this this morning. This bill requires grades K through 5 to open under the state's least restrictive social distancing plan, known as Plan A. Middle and high schools have the choice of Plan A or Plan B, which requires six feet of distance. Families still can choose remote learning if that's what they want. Republican Representative John Torbett has pushed for more kids to come back in person, but also said he thinks this compromise may be too late. Without constant attention to our students that have been lagged so far behind or have disappeared off the roads altogether, this bill won't mean a whole lot. There are things that both of us would have liked to have seen done a little bit differently, but ultimately we had one goal, get students safely back into school. Students with special needs also have to be offered in-person classes five days a week, regardless of what grade they're in. Governor Cooper has indicated he plans to sign this bill by the end of this week. Once he does, school districts have three weeks to comply with it, but they can open up sooner than that. In fact, they could do that on Monday. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.